whether you have a weedy garden or a perfect garden, you should know when to harvest certain produce. Uh, this is a cabbage. It's a small head cabbage here. It should be about the size of a volleyball, but we take what we can get. Now, knowing when to harvest your produce is a key here because if you harvest it too early or too late, it doesn't work very well. So what you're looking for on whatever size cabbage you have, the head ears, you wanna make sure it's firm. If it's soft and squishy, it's not developed all the way. What's doing is those lows layers are fixing together and you can pull it up here. The layers are, if you unwind this, you just go layer after layer, but you wanna go ahead and harvest it whenever it's solid like this. Now you can store this, uh, let's get the, just bust this off here. Take out the other leaves. You can put those in your compost or feed them to your livestock. And what you're also going to see here is a friend that's not a friend. That is a slug. And based on how large your cabbage head is, you might find them deeper into it. You can see that this one needed to be harvested a little earlier because you've got holes here of, of insects. And what you can do is you can peel, peel this back and the disadvantage to having a small head cabbage like this is as you peel this back to get to some good uh, material, it gets smaller and smaller. So the larger the head of cabbage is far better. Uh, we've had difficulty growing cabbage and for us, it now has uh, made sense to us to just buy it at the farmer's market because you can buy baseball or a basketball size head of cabbage for like two and a half dollars versus trying to grow and, and deal with the issues at hand, plus the money staying in the local economy. But if you're growing your own, you wanna make sure it's nice and firm before you harvest it. For more information, please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.